In this video, we are going over seven easy skill moves to beat a defender. I'm gonna be showing you the move and explaining the move to you. Now, some of these actually may seem a little more complex, but I'll show you that they're actually made up of fairly simple movement, and each one of these moves will help you be more unpredictable and beat more players 1v1. Guys, before getting into the skills in this video, I wanna mention very quickly that speaking of skills, my new video course, Ultimate Soccer Skills, has just been released and you can actually get it at a discounted price um, by getting it in the next few days. I will link it in the description and in the comments. So if you are ready to take your skills to the next level, definitely take a look at that. Um, by clicking on the link, it'll take you to a page with more information about the course. Okay, let's get right into the content of this video. Let's get into the seven easy skill moves. The first move we are going over is one of my personal favorites called the Ronaldinho step over. Now, this step over involves you taking a quick touch with the inside of your foot, then immediately stepping over the ball um, with a step over move and then bursting out the other way. I find this to be one of the most effective step over techniques. Of course, it was one that Ronaldinho um, was known for and there's a reason he used it all the time. It's so, so effective. Now when doing this move, you want to do the step very quickly after taking that touch. And one of the reasons I think it works is because it looks like you're setting up to do a Stanley Matthews move where you do an inside touch and then an outside touch, but then you fake that and do the step over instead. So the faster you can do this, the more you can make it look like you're gonna step or take the ball in the direction you step, the more effective it will be. But this move works so often for me and it's one I use almost every single game. So I'm actually giving you a little bit more of a difficult one this time because it's a combo and it's just a drag combo where you're gonna do the L drag and then drag it back across your body. And this is a move I love to use when I've been brought to a standstill and I want to trick the defender to make him think I'm going in one way. Now this may look like a very complex move, but it's actually just made up of two very simple moves done very quickly. It's the L move where you take the ball behind your back out the other way, and then you're just dragging it back across. Now this may not seem like a move you would use that often in matches, but I've seen it used effectively and I've used it effectively many, many times. Now obviously the faster you can do this, the more effective it is. You want the defender to be struggling after you do the L move, trying to catch up only for you to take it back out the other way. Again, this one may take a little more time for you to master because you have to learn the other, the both moves that are involved in this move. But again, once you learn this, you can use this to devastating effect. This next move may look like another one that's very complicated, but again, it's made up of two very simple touches and I call it the Ronaldo tap because he used to use it all the time. Neymar used this move as well. And it's two very quick touches to change direction, making it look like you're gonna touch the ball in one direction and then quickly going back the other way. And again, this move is so effective. It's so tricky. Um, it's so unpredictable. And although it may not seem like this would be one you use often, once you get really good at it, you'll be surprised how many situations this move makes sense to use in. You know, I'll use it when I find myself in tight spaces and I wanna get out very quickly. Um, if I have a defender very tight on me, I'll use this move. And again, as you can see, it's just two very quick touches. It only looks fancy because it's very quick. Um, but again, the faster you do this move, the better. Um, the more you practice it, the better you'll get at it. And you'll st soon start to learn that it really is just two very simple touches done very fluidly and very fast. Speaking of combining moves, we're going over the Neymar chop next. Another one that looks very tricky, but again, it just consists of a drag and then a chop. Again, doing this at speed is what is going to make the move work. Um, if you do it slowly, you're not gonna fool anyone. But again, I found this works so often when I wanna change directions. Again, if a defender is really tight on me, I find this works very well. You can see Neymar using it all the time. When a defender gets really close to him, he'll do it to cut inside or to create some space for himself. Um, again, as you can see, two simple moves put together to make another move. The drag across your body and then the chop. You can practice this move slowly at first until you get it. Um, and once you do get it and you're able to use it again, this can be devastating and this is a very tricky, unpredictable move. 
So this next move we actually already use in a combo, but I want to show you how to do this move by itself, and it's the L drag again or the L turn, where you're going to drag the ball behind your body and then cut it out the other way. Um, this is a, a more simple move than obviously the combo, but it's one I found ha I like to use all the time. And I like to use this when a defender tries to lunge in for the ball and I'll take it away from him. You know, I've made uh, even a defender fall when he tried to come and take the ball from me and I did this move. So it is very effective. It's one of those moves I love to have because it's so quick and it can take the ball away from an opponent quickly who's trying to get it from you. You can change directions quickly with this move. And again, you may see me doing it very quickly here, um, but the more you practice it, the better. Again, it's just a drag back and then a touch out the other way, almost like a Cruyff. Um, and again, this is a move I've been using since I was very young and it's worked at every single level I've played at. Next move is the outside elastico. Many of you may have seen Ronaldo do this move from time to time. And it's very similar to the other elastico except you're doing two touches very quickly with the outside of your foot. Now you want to turn your ankle on the second touch. So the first touch, your ankle will be pointing in one direction and you want to hit it with your ankle turning it to get the second touch. Now this one is a little more of a tricky move and I have to admit not one I usually use in matches just because I wouldn't consider myself someone who's become incredibly good at this move. Um, I've only pulled it off a couple of times instinctively um, but I do think it can be a very good move if you practice this often. Again it's two very simple touches but done very very quickly. You can see me doing it here. I'm just taking the first touch inside and then quickly you know almost like um, jerking back outside. Now be a little careful with this move. You know, you can actually do some damage if you do it incorrectly to your knee or something like that. Um, so do it very slowly until you have the movement down. But again, this can be such a tricky move in your matches and a very, again, unpredictable one. In this last one, we are covering one of my favorites, La Croqueta. It's such a good move in tight quarters if you need to quickly take the ball away from someone. And again, it's very simple when you break it down. It's two quick touches. You drag it or hit it across your body and then cushion it with the other side of your foot or hit it out in front of you a little bit. And this is a move I will use all the time if a defender is diving in at me and I have, you know, a second before they get to me, I will just take it away with the La Croqueta. You know, if I drive at a defender and he tries to quickly take it off, you know, take a step forward and take the ball off me, I'll just use this move. Um, and again, once you get quick at it, it is so incredibly effective. It's a very simple move. It's one you'll see Iniesta use all the time. But again, it, I, I've been using this since I was a kid and it's worked at every single level I've played at, whether it was club, whether it was college, it didn't matter. Um, if you can do this move quickly, it is incredibly effective. And if you can time it right, again, this move just works. All right, so those are seven easy skill moves to help you beat a defender. I gave you a nice variety of moves in this one because I would love for you to pick and choose moves that you like, feel comfortable with, or at your level. So there were some moves that were really easy in here and some that are a little more complicated, but I would still consider um, learnable if you just put in the time um, just to give you more options to go with. So guys, thank you again for watching. Please check out my new course, Ultimate Soccer Skills. If you really want to start improving your skills, how comfortable you are with the ball at your feet, your ability to beat players one-on-one, -on -one, your dribbling, you know, how confident you are on the ball, your unpredictability, then go check that out. Again, it's at a discounted price right now. So if you are considering getting it, you'll want to get it now. All right, guys, once again, thank you for watching. Please like and share this video. Let me know of other skill moves you want to see. I want to make some more of these videos um, to give you some more skill moves to work with. Um, make sure, again, that you are subscribed if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.